teach. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best slow songs for men on stage. I'll never stop saying, Maria. Number 10, Joanna, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. I feel you, Joanna. I feel you. I was not convinced I'd wake I feel you, Joanna? More like we feel you, Stephen Sondheim, particularly the way you wrote this gorgeous ballad for the musical Sweeney Todd. Do they think that walls can hide you? Even now I'm at your window. The song Joanna is sung by a young sailor named Anthony who falls in love with the titular girl. Joanna, like Rapunzel, is locked away in a tower. The song conveys Anthony's infatuation with the beautiful girl, but Sondheim's soaring melody betrays a real sense of love at first sight. It's naive, perhaps, but lovely in its execution. And when it's sung well, it's one of the best numbers in the show. Till I'm with you, then I'm with you there, sweetly buried in your yellow hair. Number 9, Santa Fe, Newsies. So that's what they call a family. Mother, daughter, father, son. Guess that everything you heard about is true. From Christian Bale to Jeremy Jordan, we can't get enough of this ballad. But as much nostalgia as we have for Bale's performance of the song in the 1992 Disney film Newsies, Jeremy Jordan really brought this ballad to life on the stage. Santa Fe serves as the act one closer for Newsies. Just the moon so big and yellow, it turns night right in the day. Dreams come true. Yet he do in Santa Fe. Although it's just a solo number, it never fails to bring down the house. The character of Jack sings the song at his lowest point as he dreams of a better life out west. Because he's been brought so low, the song requires a great deal of strength. This is a ballad that needs to be sung with real force. I got nothing if I ain't got Santa Fe. Number 8, If Ever I Would Leave You, Camelot. Your hair streaked with sunlight, your lips red as flame, your face with a luster. Frederick Lowe and Alan J. Lerner, what can't they do? We're not sure of the answer to that question, but it's definitely not write a beautiful ballad. Camelot is a musical that came out in 1960, but that gorgeous Lerner and Lowe score still holds strong today. But if I'd ever leave you, it couldn't be in autumn. How I'd leave in autumn, I never would know. In particular, the ballad If Ever I Would Leave You is regarded as one of the best. Robert Goulet starred in the original Broadway production of the show as Lancelot, and his version of the ballad quickly put him on the map. When sung like Goulet did it, the ballad has the chance to be a real showstopper. No, never could I leave you. At all. Number seven, it all fades away. The Bridges of Madison County. There are places that I've traveled And so many things I've seen And it all fades away We could listen to Stephen Pasquale sing anything, but we have to admit, when it comes to ballads, that man sings them better than most. He proved 
prove that once again in 2014's The Bridges of Madison County, with music and lyrics by Jason Robert Brown. There are so many stunning tunes in the show, but the best is it all fades away. The song comes towards the end of the show, as the character Robert reminisces about his one true love, Francesca. All these years later, he's still in love with her. It's hard to convey that depth of emotion with just one song, but Brown's composition does it well. But you, but you, but you. Number 6. Maria, West Side Story The most beautiful song When you pair Stephen Sondheim's lyrics with Leonard Bernstein's music, you're bound to get something unstoppable. In 1957, West Side Story became that unstoppable force. All these years later, the musical score is still timeless, particularly the ballad, Maria. Maria say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. The character Tony sings the song after he learns the name of the girl he's fallen in love with. It's not a particularly complex song lyrically, but the way the music supports those lyrics gives the song so much emotional heft. The performer has to keep up with that soaring feeling, and when they're able to, the end product is magical. Number 5. Bring Him Home, Les Miserables Cold, on a high, hear my one of the slowest entries on our list, but also one of the most powerful, and one of the hardest to sing. Les Miserables is filled with grandiose, powerful songs from top to bottom. Bring Him Home, however, is a bit different. The song functions as a prayer that Jean Valjean sings, wishing for his daughter's love Marius to make it out of the revolution safely. It's a plaintive ballad that stays quiet for the most part, sometimes bursting into gorgeous moments of desperation. It stands out from the crowd of the songs in the show, which in a musical like Les Miserables is hard to do. Number 4. Being Alive, Company Someone to hold you too close Someone to hurt you too deep Someone to sit in your chair To ruin your sleep Company is a funny show, poking and prodding at marriage, dating and divorce with a keen and sometimes jaundiced eye. But for a show that makes fun of all this with such gusto, it sure ends on a devastatingly honest note. Someone you have to let in. Someone whose feelings you spare. Someone who, like it or not, will want you to share a little, a lot. Bobby, the main character of the musical and the only one of his close friends who's single, sings Being Alive at the show's finale. The lyrics are heartbreaking filled with longing at the idea of having someone who knows you too well and holds you too close. It takes a strong singer to convey such yearning. <laughs> Number 3. The Impossible Dream, Man of La Mancha Don't dream. The impossible dream. Not a dream. To 
fight the unbeatable foe. Don Quixote is a comical figure in our culture, a silly man with delusions of grandeur about being a knight. But in the musical spawned by his story, Man of La Mancha, he sings an inspiring song filled with earnest hope. This is my The impossible dream works perfectly for a character like Don Quixote. It's silly, in a way, much like he is, filled with a starry-eyed optimism the world doesn't always match. But in a lot of ways, you can't help but admire Don Quixote's commitment to his dream, no matter how impossible it may be. The unreachable, the unreachable star. Number 2, The Music of the Night, The Phantom of the Opera. Silent me the senses, abandon their defense. Andrew Lloyd Webber has written a lot of ballads over the years, but even with all that output, our favorite has to be The Music of the Night from The Phantom of the Opera. In the show, the song is used by the Phantom to lure the object of his affections to his lair. Let your mind start a journey to a strange new world. Leave all thoughts on the world if you be But in real life, the first version of the song was reportedly written for Weber's then wife, Sarah Brightman. The romantic quality carries over into the song in the show no matter how creepy the Phantom's intentions might be. It's a testament to the beauty of the song that you don't really think about the bad that's going on at all. You're lulled into its trance. The music of the Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Wait for it, Hamilton. We don't want to wait to hear this one. One Song Glory, Rent, a rock and roll ballad for the ages. Time flies, time, time. What Would I Do, Falsettos. What would we do if this song didn't exist? Having fun, you're the one I want to talk to. Where have you been? Where are you now? Run Away With Me, the unauthorized autobiography of Samantha Brown. A gorgeous plea for romance. Any Run away with me. Anthem, Chess. Josh Groban gives us goosebumps with this one. I cross over borders, but I'm still there Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Finishing the Hat, Sunday in the Park with George Yes, she looks for me. Good. Let her look for me to tell me why she left me. As I always knew she would. Sunday in the Park with George might be one of our favorite Stephen Sondheim musicals of all time, and so much of that has to do with the show's stunning score. Finishing the hat. How you have to finish the hat. How you watch the rest of the world from a window while you finish the hat. Sunday is filled with some of Sondheim's best work, including Finishing the Hat. The song is sung by the main character, the artist, and explores the tension in his life between work and love. It's a perfect fit for artists to sing, really, as that conflict might be present in their real lives as well. 
There have been so many lovely performances of this song, but no one will ever get us in the feels quite like Mandy Patinkin did with his original work. Finishing a hat. Look, I made a hat. Where well, there never was a hat. If we missed any of your favorite ballads for male voices, let us know in the comments below. Love without reason, love without mercy, love without pride or shame. Love unconcerned with being returned. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.